Hey there guys, that's Crowbar here, and today I'm just going to show you how I'm customizing some dice. Um, I bought some dice at the local comic shop, and uh, just wanted to change them to fit a theme, so I'm customizing them a little. So here's one of them I have right now in my hand. This is how they usually look. I've been customizing some of them and just added a different color into the numbers. And so I'm going to show you how I do that in just a sec. Okay guys, for this you're going to need, of course, a set of dice, um, paintbrush, and some acrylic paint. So I'm just going to clean my paintbrush here. I've been using it. Dry it off on a paper towel. And then get some paint. Now I've got my Americana from Deco Art. Uh, cadmium yellow, and I've got some just a drop squirted out onto a piece of foil I'm using to hold my paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my die right here, and I'm just going to go over the numbers with the paint and the small paintbrush. I'm using a small one so it doesn't get a ton of paint everywhere when I do this. And just get it kind of on the outside there a little, and then just brush it off with your fingers some. And this will pull the paint off that's on the outside, but leave some on the inside of the numbers there. Now if you've got old fashioned dice that don't actually have the uh, numbers like inside of the it, they're all just drawn on, because I have seen some like that. You can't really do this, but these ones it's fine because they've got this imprint, this indention in it, and that allows you to get the paint in there really well. You just repeat the same steps on every single side. Now this is a D4, so there's 12 numbers or so on it, uh, 4 times 4. I mean, 4 times 3 is 12, so... Um, but, you know, you've got other ones that only have one number per side. So. Okay. It's not that hard, and it's not that time-consuming either, so... It's a, it's a great little thing to do if you want to just have some customized dice. Say you have, you find a color you like, but you want, say, red, you find black dice and you want red in the numbers or vice versa, you can just do this and it'll make them a custom color. So, yeah. Alright, so next I'm just gonna take this one, clean out my brush. This is the, I could not find a complete set of the blues, and so instead, I'm taking this yellow one and putting blue on the inside of it, where I put yellow on the inside of the blues. Just a tad bit of blue out here on the foil. I've got the Americana Primary Blue by DecoArt as my paint color I'm going with, and then just cover the numbers with it. If it is something like this one where it's not as dark a color you may to start with, you may want to uh, just kind of keep a little more tidy because on the darker colors, putting a lighter color on top doesn't really show up as easily. But as you might can see, this is kind of turning green in certain areas where I'm trying to do it. And the blue is getting in there, it's just hard to see. 
but it is becoming blue if you really look at it. So I'm just going to keep on keeping on, get this last D10 done. Then once that's done, we'll have our set, our custom set. These were just uh, uh, I don't know what to call them, cast offs. They were individuals. You could buy it at my local shop. And this was the only thing they didn't have to. They didn't have the other D10 to complete the set, so I figured I'd grab the one D10 and this one and it would work. Now this is actually going with a color scheme based off of another video I um, made, and that is about my pop vinyl I made, my cu first custom pop vinyl to make, which is a Nightcrawler pop, Nightcrawler pop, and if you haven't seen that video, go check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys to look at it. Just a few more spots left on here, guys. And I'm sorry I don't have any music or anything, but you know how YouTube is about playing music. I don't have anybody to help back me, so it doesn't like it when I play music. And you might can uh, wipe these off with a wet towel or paper towel or something like that after the inside is dried just to try and get some of the color off the outside if you've got some of that sticking. And I'm just rinsing out my brush now. You always want to make sure you clean your brush well, that it's got no paint in it, no paint dries in it, because that would be a bad, bad thing. Alright, so now we've got this done. We've got our set, our blue and yellow set here of custom dice. So guys, thanks for watching. If you want any tips or anything, just ask. Uh, so, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, share, and subscribe. And as always, to all you nerds out there, to all you gamers, and to all you geeks, keep doing what you do. This is Death's Crowbar, signing out. Oh, and don't forget to take a look at my video, other videos. Alright, see you guys.